Cause here with you is where I belong Right here with you is where I belong And it's amazing that he gave you to me Because That's how I know right here with you is where I belong it's well and that everybody doing pretty good all right so with that being said y'all i wanted to come on here and y'all challenge us to rest in god today rest in god today and what does that look like well ask god how does that look how does it look for me to rest in you today does that look like physical rest does that look like me you know reading your word like what does that look like for me today you know, I know it's trust for sure. It's still trust, y'all. Trusting that God, oh, that God is so faithful, my God. Y'all trusting that God is doing what he said he would do. And that he would do what he said he would. You know, I don't know if I just said the same thing twice, but y'all, it's that trust, y'all. We have to trust. God is requiring us again, y'all, trusting in him. And I wanted to make this very clear, y'all. So... Uh, I mentioned before, y'all, we have to, like, now is not the time to be distracted because the enemy is coming up against us, all right, with distractions to keep, to keep us from doing whatever God has told us to do, right? So first thing I want to just point out, y'all, although we're in a, this spiritual battle, keep in mind this battle is not ours, all right? So with that being said, y'all, God is, how can I say this? It's not for us to bring anything to pass. No. It's for us to follow the direction, the, the orders that was given. All right? Because it is a spiritual army. It is a, a spiritual battle. So with that being said, we are following the orders of God. You know, what did God command us to do? What did God tell us to do? Right? That's what we're doing. We're being obedient to what God has said. We're not doing anything more, anything less. Because that could, now that is, could either cause delay because it could be obe uh, disobedience or it could be rebellion if you're doing more than what God has told you to do or less than what he's told you to do, okay? So with that being said, y'all, I'm when, we're, when we are, how can I say this? And I just want to make sure I was very clear, y'all, if I wasn't before. Because I don't want y'all to feel like y'all have to bring something to pass. No, you're not bringing anything to pass. You're following God's direction and he's doing bringing it to pass, okay? Because... Doing things in your own strength, you will get tired. You will get tired. And again, y'all, even in this battle that we're in, in the spiritual battle that we're in, it's not that you won't get tired. It's just that you won't. Like, when you get tired, you're able to be rejuvenated in God, you know, in his word, y'all. And that's the thing. Now that we have gained land, you know, we have gained territory, we have done some damage to the kingdom of hell, now it's not for us to lighten up, you know, but it's for us to trust God more. Get into a deeper rest in God. You know, trust God even the more. Hide in him. You know, and when I say hide in him, you know, allow God hide in him is to, like, take cover. Take cover in God. You know, and during that time, remember, y'all, that, that word that I had gave before, uh, I think it was push, uh, press, push, um, praise. Y'all, I could you not remember, I was giving the analogy of when, you know, there's a boxer and you're in a ring, right? And, you know, during that time when they're having that break there concerning with their coach, you know, with their, their trainer, whoever, like, the person is on the other side, you know, and they're resting and they're getting, like, built back up. You know, they're drinking their water, all of that. That's what we're needing even the more, y'all, now. Because, y'all, I'm telling y'all, this spiritual battle is so real. It's so real. Even when you're asleep, it's real. Y'all, when I tell you, it's, it's a battle. And with that being said, we have to continue to um, stay guarded. Y'all, one thing I wanted to mention today was that, uh, um, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just looking at my window, but uh, one thing I wanted to mention today was uh, what, what reminded me. I felt like I was reminded of uh, your spiritual weapons, right? Your spiritual weapons, y'all. What are they? You know, and the shield of faith, the shield of faith, that's something that stood out to me today. I was just like, when you are not having your shield of faith on, then darts can come your way. You know, the lies of the enemies, they'll be more receptive, you know, because now you don't have your faith up. So now if you don't have faith, which is the, uh, the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen, then that means that the, you're, how can I say, then that first, without faith, you can't please God. 
And that's in the word. And then also, though, that now they give the enemy, you know, legal room to do, like, to try to come up against you and your faith. So with that being said, y'all, we just have to keep checking our spiritual weapons. You know, okay, do I got my shield of faith on when the enemies are sending these things against me? Do I have faith to be able to block them? You know, and then also with your shoes, am I walking, you know, with the shoes of the, like, with the, uh, with peace, you know? And then also, am I putting on the word of God, you know, the truth? You know, am I able to withstand the word of God? I mean, not withstand the word of God, but withstand the enemy with the word of God. You know, and uh, the bed of truth is like just knowing. Or do you um, have your faith on? You know, do you have faith to believe what God is saying in spite of what you do or don't see? Right. And then second, like the um, just really observing. Are you walking in peace? You know, your shoes of peace. Are you putting on the bed of truth? The your, your breastplate of righteousness. And we're only made righteousness in God, y'all. You know, through having Jesus as our Lord and Savior and also repenting. You know, staying in alignment with God, y'all. You know, and then also your helmet of salvation, your sword, you know, in the spirit realm. Are you doing some damage, you know, with the word of God? How are you responding? Are you responding in your flesh or are you responding with the word of God? Y'all, we can all do better. So with that being said, y'all, um, I just wanted to, yeah, uh, mention those things. But also, y'all, one more thing was um, stay focused. Just stay focused the best way you can. Even when you're having trouble, stay in focus. Y'all ask God to help you. Ask God to help you, y'all. And stay, um, how can I say this? So when you ask, like asking God to help you, like, Lord, help me to stay focused. Because the enemy is sending big or in small distractions. You know, to get us, get us unfocused on what God has told us to do. So that we could delay things. And again, y'all, we're not, we're not bringing anything to pass. No. We're just doing whatever God has called us to do. Our, like what he has spoken to us. We're following the orders. Okay? So we're not in charge of bringing anything to pass. No. We have to remember our place in this. God is the one doing it. He's the commander. He's the head. All right? And we're, we're his, you know, his soldiers doing whatever he has ordered us to do. All right, to get the mission done, to get it done. Although God is going, going to be the one that bring it to pass, whatever that could be, y'all. So with that being said, and that's with anything, y'all. Whatever God is telling y'all to do, if it's a book, if it is a, you know, a business, whatever it could be, y'all, go ahead and do it now. Start it now. You know, just get a get a move on it. Get a move on it. All right. So yeah, y'all. That was mainly. I want to say that was mainly it. Um, yeah, y'all just stay at the feet of God and let God give you that strength that we that we all need to stay in a place where we getting fed by God, his word, and even praise. Y'all praise is such a weapon against the kingdom of darkness. All right. So with that being said, y'all, we have to literally put like, like last time, praise harder, push harder, go harder, trust harder in God. Trust harder in God. Because the enemy, he will try to send things your way. He's going to try to send things our way. Not that he hasn't already. But now, y'all, we have to really go harder. And when I say go harder, trust in God harder. But make sure that our spiritual um, gear is on. I keep doing this because faith, y'all. Faith is what's going to protect your face. That's going to stop the enemy from blowing your head off, okay? And then also, you know, that uh, even like can protect any, kind of anything on it, depending on what, how you're fighting or whatever it is, what's coming up against you. But yeah, y'all, that faith and everything, you know, all of your, uh, all of your uh, armor, make sure it's all on. We all have to make sure, okay? So with that being said, y'all, I love y'all so much. I'm not sure. Um, however, God, leave me to come back on. That's what I'll do. But yeah, y'all, everything is working out y'all we just have to do our part make sure we doing our part all right because god already doing his let's just make sure we do ours all right so with that being said y'all i love y'all and let's get it let's get it all right y'all more i cannot forget that y'all god love y'all more i might love y'all all right but god love y'all more i just want y'all to always remember that hopefully i don't ever forget it in the video god love y'all more all right deuce